Hi, Randy Lennon back with Biz One on One, and today it's Biz One on One Plus One. We're so thrilled to have uh, iconic entrepreneur Peter Thomas and uh, Jennifer Carroll, who's taking over Life Pilot. So, Life Pilot is um, what is it? Is it like a one day seminar, or a weekend? How does it work? Well, let me give you a, a two minute what Life Pilot is primarily. It's a four hour workshop that usually goes from 9 to 1 or some people prefer one to, one to four, one to five, one to, you know, mornings or afternoons. It's very rapid, it's got four segments to it. But you know when you're a kid and you go to school, you learn the multiplication tables? You learn what one and one is, two and two, three and three, and you know those and you memorize them. Well, the challenge is in life, there is no handbook, there is no instruction manual. You, people just expect you to know how to live life. Exactly, and that's you, what I was thinking when you were talking about. Correct, this. and you yeah. just pick it up from grandma, from pop, from mom, and you know, from school, bit by bit you pick this up from people, but you never ever actually put it down into one and one is two. So what Life Pilot tries to do, and listen, this is stuff that goes back to Socrates. It's not new, it's how people have lived their lives over the years, primarily successful people. And what, what are their secrets, what do they do? So we've taken Life Pilot, I guess, one big question that everybody has, no matter how old you are, if you ask them that, they sit there with a blank look on their face. If I said, Randy, what is your purpose in life? I have an answer for that, yeah. but I've, <laughs> That's I've good. done a lot of work on myself. Yes, a yeah. lot of work to get there. There's a lot of people, you can ask them whether they might be successful or not successful, old, young, men, women, doesn't matter. When you think, what is your purpose in life, it's a big question. So we try to come, what we finish with in the end of four hours is a way that you can find out your purpose. So how do we do that is that we break the segmentation of, of how you, we suggest that you can use as a formula for your life, is place values first and foremost. That's the number one thing. Understand what your values are and how do you dig those out? Well, we have a whole bunch of exercises that you can do that. But it's not complicated. Like, for example, if I said, I'd say most people put their hands up if I said, well, if they were confused, say, well, is health a value? Right. How many are there in total? Like Literally, literally hundreds. You, really? Career could be a, a value, you know, relationships, uh, kids, family, uh, education. And should I only have three or four? Motorcycle riding could be a value. You know, right. you could, anything, you, anything you want it to be can be a value. And so we try and trim it up a little bit, you know. Yeah. But we come up you with, said you started with 11 and I you brought it down 13. to 4, 13. Uh, I actually started with 3. How many did you have, Jen, when you started? Do you remember? Probably a dozen, and then yeah, I and you're and down, down to about down. six, yeah, and then when Phil was sick, it even got shorter. You know, it depends on the type of the season you're in. Well, you can tuck are. things under. Like for example, right. my happiness, family relationships, commitment, all that stuff goes under happiness. Because if if my right. wife is happy, I'm happy. Uh -huh. yeah. You know the old <laughs> happy, 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 happy wife, happy that. Happy. So, but anyway, we break the segment down. So so values, I look at it like a building. The foundation of your life is your values. Now. How do you figure out how to live your life? We have four segments. And I, I, the first one is focus. Squirrel, squirrel, everybody's right. like that. People always get, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, but they become unfocused. So we teach how to stay focused in life. The uh, next one is teach people how to visualize. Uh, Stephen Covey said, begin with the end in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of people, like two guys will go look at, a, look, at a, look at a piece of land, and one guy's like looking like this, the other guy's. Excited. Yeah. He's like, he sees the big building, the other guy sees an empty, full of weeds. You know? So we teach you how to visualize ahead and visualize what you want to become. Like for, for example, Randy, I would say to you right now, in your life, I'd say, what would the 10 year older Randy say to the 61 year old Randy? Absolutely. That's pretty powerful. Yes. You know, so we ask. It's all about the questions. Correct. Yeah. And we ask questions like that. So you think, wow, visualization is a powerful, powerful segment. The next one is inspiration. Why am I pumped up all the time? Well, because I'm being around positive people and I'm reading inspiring things and I'm doing inspiring things. You know, you, I, I sort of say I, I, uh, I do great things and ex exciting things and I create adrenaline and then I run on the adrenaline. That's like gas. So I'm, I'm happy and pumped because I'm doing things I love to do. I'm here because I love to be here. Right. I, love, I love life pilot. I love telling the story. I love mentoring, love teaching. So as long as I'm doing that, I'll do it forever. And the one the last segment we spent, we spent actually 45 minutes on reflection. So many people don't understand how good they really are. You know, Say that I, again. So many people don't understand how good they really are. And sometimes I have to trigger 
you know, or we have to trigger that memory in them. For example, if they're not feeling too good today, you run into a hardship. There's hardships, you know, every week you run into something. Well, instead of, oh, poor me and woe is me, think back upon positive things that happened in your life. Think back to the birth of your kids. Think back to your graduation from high school. Think back to when you won that relay race. And take mental pictures of those reflections. And those reflections will carry you ahead to the next ones. Because everybody has something that they can look back on. Everybody. That they're proud of. Absolutely. Where they've done something where they didn't even realize they could do it. Jennifer, you are taking over mm -hmm. uh, because this poor old guy has no energy or enthusiasm <laughs> anymore. He's just like, yeah, uh, go retire. And I'm going to ask never. him in a minute when he's 90. What, look, what is his 90 year old yeah, going to say exactly. to his 80 year old? That is, yeah. that blows it my is. mind. It's so interesting because you've been amazingly successful in business, Peter. And now you're, you would never, if you were coaching someone who's starting a business, you would never let them start the business without a business plan. Correct. What's the plan? Correct. And yet we just end up living our lives and being buffeted along. Correct. I always wow. look at life as like a deck of cards. So we're each a deck of cards. There we are. If you've got, some of you got lucky, you got an ace, tens, queens, tens, jacks. But you know, success, if you look at successful people many times, they don't have a whole bunch of aces. They don't have anything special. What the, what the key to success is learning how to play your hand. Exactly. Learning how to play the cards you're dealt with. It's just that formula where you just go to your values and you look at them. Easy, every day. Said, no, this, I want what this guy has and he, he's doing this, but no, these are the things I value. So in fact, I'm not going to choose to do that. So that's where the formula right. comes to play. It's, you know, life coming at us, people telling us what to do, opportunities, and we have to choose and prioritize our life right. based just on this simple formula, which is, one plus one is two. Here are my five values. Health, freedom, happiness, integrity. And health, if it freedom, doesn't fall happiness, under integrity. Them, it's Do I want to make an investment I'm looking at today? Will it affect my health? No. No. My freedom? Maybe. Yes. Mm -hmm. so Perhaps you, negatively. <laughs> so take a look at that. So you make sure, does it, does it fit with my values? Does it, does it fit? And if it fits, away you go. And then your life becomes on purpose. Well, you've created a lot of value for me today and for everyone watching. Really appreciate having you on. Jennifer, great Rainy. luck and success with Thank Life you. Pilot. Peter, <laughs> so nice to see you again. Peter Thomas and Jennifer Carroll. It's called Life Pilot.